What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the multiplayer mod on your game. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with the mod installed first. And then we're going to do it all from scratch so you guys can do it as well. I recommend backing up any files you might have just in case. Currently I have a save file but I might restart again. Never know. I'm going to wait for the game to load. So... It takes a bit of time for it to load. Alrighty, game has booted up here. I'm gonna go to continue here, just to show you guys what it looks like. It sees, you can see in the corner here, it shows the multiplayer mod installed. Here we are in Supermarket Simulator. I did a co-op playthrough, uh, for those who haven't seen it. Make sure you guys check it out. I'm probably gonna change the name of it or something. But yeah, here we are in the game. You can go here, you can see there's a multiplayer option here to create a server who can join everyone or friends only, invite only. Yeah, basically it's create a server and then someone else can join your save file. You need to make sure that's the case because you basically join whoever creates the server's save file. You can only have one save file on the game. If you want to do a separate playthrough, you can join a friend server to play with your friend on their save file instead. All right. So let's exit out of this, quit to desktop. So something you will need first before installing the multiplayer mod is uh, this uh, mod loader here. Toby's BEP Index X Melon Loader Pack for Supermarket Simulator. You just download it from this website here. Click on the files, go down here, go to manual download right here and download the files that you need. Might as well do it again because I don't remember where I saved this before. The only problem with this website is, is sometimes it can take up to an hour to actually download it. So yeah, you set to wait. Will it download it? There we go. This is the first file you'll need. Up this WinRAR, you can see all the files here. Now we can just do this. We will uninstall this game because I'm going to reinstall everything for you guys. So I need to make sure that all the files are gone. There we go. It's just a folder named Supermarket Simulator, so it shouldn't be a problem. But you can see the files in here. Erase all these. All right. Okie dokie. So let's reinstall from scratch. Five gigabytes to install Supermarket Simulator. So I'm going to do that. Now we'll be back with you guys whenever I finished installing the game again. All righty then. Before anything, before you actually install any mods, you need to start the game for the first time to make sure the game is working correctly. It will boot a lot faster without any mods on it. It's going to always boot a lot faster. You need to have patience with the mods because they make it take a bit longer because it has to load all the mods and stuff. Whenever you install the mod loader, you actually need to boot the game again just to make sure all the mod files get added to the game. Or too much. Yeah. Oh, it has cloud saves. That makes sense, I guess. Even if I deleted all the files, it still has the save file. Well, that's that's good to know. I did not know that, so that's why I backed it up. But yeah, I guess you don't have to back it up. It has cloud saves. Don't take my word for it, though. <laughs> so now this is a fresh install of the game. I don't have the multiplayer option right here. So we're going to install the mod. Let's do it. Completely close down the game first. Here we are in the folder for the game. Okay. So basically... What you do here is you need to add the files from this WinZip here that we have in the downloads folder. In the downloads folder, whatever download folder you have, and you grab all these files, put them in here, uh, load all the files into there, and now we have to boot the game up again one more time before we can install the multiplayer mod. Just so you guys know, this plugins folder here is for the the melon loader mods, and the multiplayer mod will be put in this plugins folder right here start the game one more time eventually it will load which is nice again uh, it doesn't show the mod loader you have to actually add mods to the game but that's the first boot all done so all we have to do now is go into bep in ex you have to go into plugins here i'm gonna put the plugin of the multiplayer in here here we go here is the discord for the supermarket simulator uh, multiplayer mod so if you guys ever want to do supermarket simulator multiplayer you go to that to download the latest version of the build here b75 b475 i already have this all right so yeah here you go it shows here you even get like an even get like the link to the mod that you need to install basically all you need is this supermarket multiplayer DDL file from that Discord server right here. I just put supermarket multiplayer DDL in the BEP in EX plugins, the file in here to load multiplayer. So all we have to do now is just start the game again. It takes forever to boot up though, so 
I'll be back whenever it's fully booted up. All right, here we go. And the mod has been installed. Very nice. Boot up the game. It is unfortunate. It takes so long to load the game every time you want to load it. So it's the only reason this video is going to be a very long video. Unless I cut it out. <laughs> so yeah, we got the mod installed again for a second time. You see the multiplayer is added. So yeah, it just works. Very nice. You're gonna see the mod info here. There are a lot of known issues with multiplayer. <laughs> Just looking at these issues right now. But yeah, we got the multiplayer installed. So you can play multiplayer now. I got a few people asking to do a tutorial on how to install it. And here it is. Very fun. And whenever you do multiplayer, you can accidentally duplicate your cash register. I've done it. <laughs> anyway. Well, not me, but we did it, I guess. I guess I was the one who did it. I don't know. <laughs> but that's it. Got, I showed you guys how to do multiplayer supermarket simulator. I don't have anyone to test it, but all you have to do is uh, create a server where everyone can join. And anyone, I think only people on your friend list can still join or whoever gets invited, I think. But yeah, you can invite people here. They have to have the mod installed to invite them. So yeah, that is that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Apparently, I didn't know it. the game had cloud saves, which is pretty cool. For those who don't, who are worried that they're going to ruin their game by deleting it. I guess that was exhibit proof. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials and on how to... If you want to see more tutorials on how to install more mods or anything else, I would love to do more tutorials on the channel. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe for more tutorial videos. Bye-bye.